Oh yeah, come to mama. Come on, come on. Jim shark, Jim shark, Jim shark, Jim shark. <gasps> oh, Bobby doesn't see me. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, it's a great day. Ring that doorbell, baby. Ring it. Make my day. Dang, he didn't have the courtesy to ring that doorbell. <laughs> Sup at you, boy. You want people to steal my gym shark? What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. How about that flex release? I don't know about you, but I went a little bit cray cray. Big shout out, thank you to Gymshark for hooking your girl up with a few of these pieces. But like a few days later, I like went back and I got a few more pieces because it's like I kept dreaming about it and then I just had to do it. So I got quite the haul going on. As always, it's gonna be like a full try on overview. And guys, I will absolutely be doing a little bit of comparing and contrasting between the mid-rise flex and the high-rise flex. So keep an ear out for that. But before we get into this video, I have already been getting so many DMs of the Whitney Simmons Gymshark new release coming out October 29th. Are you ready? It's gonna be so exciting. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Do not miss out because I will be doing the full everything. I'm gonna cry because I'm so excited. <gasps> okay. That's not a real dog, by the way. In case you're wondering, all right? That's Wolfie. He's my stuffed animal, not taxidermy stuff. He's just a stuffed animal. So let's go ahead. We got some chit chatting to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right guys, so if you're new and this is the first time on my channel, welcome. You're obviously here because you love Gymshark and well, I love Gymshark. <laughs> I will have everything you see today linked below for your convenience. My measurements are down below as well. And every single item you see in this video is in a size small. My true to size size. I tried everything on and it's true to size, in case you were wondering, it is. As you can see, there's three different types of flex in this collection. You have the low rise, which sits right at the hips, the mid rise, which is kind of a little bit below, almost on the belly button, and then you have the high rise, which goes above the belly button, which is, in other words, a high-waisted. If you guys would like to see a full in-depth review, I did do one on the flex that released this summer. So definitely check that video out. I'll have it linked below if you wanna see more of an in-depth review. I took the pieces outside and even tried them out in the weather. So check that one out. Let's start, shall we? You already know that I had to start with the neon. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Really? They have been teasing me so hard with the neons because they came out with the speed neon shorts that were gone in like a minute. Same with this. I'm pretty sure like most of everything you see today is still in stock, but the neons, I knew they wouldn't last. They just never freaking do. There's something about these colors that just like, people gotta have it. And I don't, I don't blame them because I had to have it too. So I got the shorts and the leggings, girl. So these are obviously the same thing, just different length. I love the Flex collection as a whole because it's just that like lower, moderate compression, nothing highly compressive. I love their shorts. They do not roll up on me. There's zero CT, the dreaded CT camel toe. So I don't have to worry about that in this collection. So they did not come with a matching sports bra in this particular color, this nice neon gray color. But I do plan on using my gray vital just to kind of mix it up a little bit or white sports bra can do. I am five foot three and these come to a really nice length. So I'm a little bit short and I don't have a problem with these. I don't have to roll them up or anything like that. So this neon, although it is not 100% squat proof on me, I would say it's more like 90-ish, 90% 90 squat proof. It is not enough for me to not wear them to the gym. I'm absolutely wearing them to the gym, like tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. So as I'm sure you guys know, Flex has its own identity in the Gymshark realm of collections. And that is their like block contour, all right? It's a very 
sophisticated, very bold, thick contour throughout the entire set. What I notice on these babies, this neon green, it kind of blends in a little bit more. You don't really have such a high contrast, blocky contour. So it mixes up the collection a little bit. I had to get it, nice light, bright, very positive color. Had to add it to my wardrobe. We need more of these right now, Gymshark Neon. Now you already know, it's your girl. Had to get raspberry red and gray. So here's an example of how you can see the contour on this particular color is a little more contrasted. I love the contour underneath the booty because if you look real close and you could feel it, a slight difference in texture, it like kind of grips under the booty a little bit. It's got that little elasticity to kind of pucker the bum up. So this is really good to flex in. So these are the low rise. As you can see, they sit right on the hips. So the band is really nice. It's only about like three inches, I would say, but it's really nice and thick, but doesn't like, it's not one of those bands where it's gonna leave marks on you. For me, it doesn't leave me any marks. I actually really love this band. It's a nice breakup of the traditional, normal like ribbed waistband, makes a nice statement. You got that big, stark Gymshark logo right in everybody's face. Aside from the block contour, the rest of the legging has that really nice breakup of color. So it's not just one deep color, it's not one deep red. It's got that marley breakup, which I really like. Again, this legging didn't come with a matching sports bra, but it's okay, I will make it work. Just these by itself. These, this is a statement. I'm starting to find that I can actually buy these flex leggings and just get a solid kind of matching sports bra to kind of mellow it or tone it down a little bit if you don't like so much boldness throughout your entire set. I think it really balances out the set as a whole. So you could always do that. So have no fear. If it doesn't have a matching sports bra, just gotta get a little creative, girl. For me personally, the training bras are perfect to have that like solid sports bra color up top. And then you have like the nice, awesome breakup of color down below in these leggings. Or you can match it with the Vital Seamless sports bra because it will have that matching moral breakup. So in case you were wondering, this raspberry red color is in fact squat proof on me. Yes, indeed. All right guys, so next up, I got the smoky gray and jade green. Funny story, this actually did come with a sports bra, but I forgot to order it because I got so excited with everything else. You ever do that? Like you're like in a rush, you think things are gonna sell out. You buy a bunch of stuff and then you look through your order and you're like, oh man, I, how did I totally miss to add this matching sports bra? I did, how? And I had to go back. So now I'm just waiting on that one thing. And for some reason, when you buy only one thing, it'll take like a whole week to come in. So I'm still waiting. So I absolutely love this jade green color. It is so beautiful. And it really, the gray contrast with this, it makes for such a beautiful unison. What I love so much about this color combo is you have a real nice gray neutral and they add in a like more muted green so that it just kind of seamlessly works together. This color combination is perfection in my opinion. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It was game over. So I do want to briefly mention, in case you are new to this collection, that these babies are made of polyamide, polyester, and elastane. So you have a lot of stretch. Don't get it twisted. These babies are stretchier than you think. The polyamide is great for elasticity and durability, and polyester is really good for keeping insulation, things like that. These are by no means something you're just gonna sweat up a storm in. They are very breathable as well. So this collection will definitely hug your body, move with your body, and that's why you know it's flex, man. They contour your, your, your curves in such a way where it really is such a flattering look while still being super functional for actually working out and training in these. So this smoky gray and jade legging was 100% squat proof on me. All right guys, so lastly for the mid-rise, we are gonna look at the light gray marl and black. Talk about a heavy freaking contrast. This is a popper, that's what I called it, it's a popper. It's gonna make your hips pop because you have such a light, light color going on on the entire set. Then the band, right where it counts, right at your waist and right at your rib cage is black. And we already know what black does. It cinches you in. It's a natural like silhouette maker. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know what I mean. You do, right? 
So this is the first full set I have matching for you today. This leg right, woo, woo, woo. Totally wearing this to the gym. This week it's all flex for me at the, at the freaking gym. I don't care, y'all. I love the bands on the mid-rise because it really helps prevent, like if you're squatting, it helps prevent any gaping, things like that. It really hugs up against your back, which I find to be very, very helpful. And in case you are wondering, they all have a really nice size gusset. So by all means, like I do pretty much everything when I'm at the gym. I will lift weights, I will do some cardio, and then I will literally finish with yoga. I'm not kidding. I bring my yoga mat, I go into the studio at my gym, and I finish with some intense yoga. So I will literally wear the flex, and it can work for every single thing I need for the day. So that's why, you know, that's why I like gym track a lot. So I have not yet worked out in these in particular, but if there are anything like my other flex, my other lighter colors, then they should be perfectly fine with wicking sweat. I know they do have the material for wicking sweat and Gymshark's usually really good with that. Um, I don't really sweat profusely, so I guess it depends on how much you sweat, but uh, for the amount that I sweat, a comfortable amount, <laughs> I'm usually good and I never see sweat on my Gymshark. So. so for me, the light gray are about 99% squat proof. And let's just for a second talk about the actual just color as a whole. This light gray is so light gray that there's mostly white in it. It, from a distance for a real flash of a second, it could almost look white in the correct lighting. So this is what makes this gray different from the other grays that you've seen so far. I even thought on the website that it was white at first. So keep that in mind, this is a light one. And real quick, I just wanna briefly talk about the sports bra. It does have bra inserts, same exact color, everything. It's just your basic like lower support, medium kind of support. On me, I feel like it's got like more of a medium kind of support because I got barely anything to support, number one. Number two, you got that thick band. So automatically you feel like you, you're really secure. Ain't nothing popping out underneath. This is just your basic racer back. Um, you do have a nice little keyhole design as well right above the band in the bag, little peek-a-boo action. Never hurt nobody. You have a subtle, that subtle like stifled contour all around, up y'all top pays and back around. You also have it on the bra straps as well. And then you got this like, you got this contour on the back of your eraser back that reminds me of Star Trek. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Raise your hand if you see How do you do it? Star Trek. No, separate. Separate, yeah. Star Trek. <laughs> Something like that. So the same material as the leggings, every, everything's pretty much identical. Um, it does come a little bit high, so it's not like crazy low cut. It's your normal just scoop. It's not high cut either. So it's just a like nice moderate in between type of sports bra. Alrighty, we are finally moving on to the High-waisted flex, woo! So we are looking at charcoal, marl, and pink. Now we're entering a little different of an animal here. Same type of compression, and I believe it's made out of the same exact material as well. So we're looking at kind of the same similar type of fit, but this collection is obviously high-rise, so you do have that thicker, taller, more compressive ribbed band around here. So if you're somebody who prefers a little bit more tummy control, a little bit more of a coverage up on the band here, then this range in the Flex collection is definitely something to look into. So this color combo is pretty neat. We're looking at a darker kind of color here and I need this for the winter time. I, I love my brights, but you just can't live off of brights. You gotta roll with the seasons, girl. I got the cycling shorts, the regular high-waisted legging, I also got the strappy sports bra and the long sleeve as well. I got the whole shebang up in here. These cycling shorts are really nice. They do not roll up. Like any of their other shorts, I've had nothing but good experiences. Like they do not roll up on you and snap you. All right, no one's got time for that. These are definitely longer than the Vital. So keep that in mind, these are cycling. So a little bit longer in length. So let's talk about the logo. The Gymshark written all in the back of this band is gorgeous. It's just one time, not wrapped around like the mid-rise. It is just right on the back. I really love this collection because it also does hug you just the same. It doesn't gape, it doesn't do anything weird. This is a very, very sturdy collection. The contrast is still there in the contour, but it does blend 
a bit with this dark gray. It does blend into that breakup of marl. You have it all down the side. The length is still the same, so it fits me just the same. And also what's unique about the high rise is you do have a little baby print on your hip there. Like it's so, it's not even noticeable, but it's there. It's a little itty baby Gymshark logo down your hip. A little added cherry on top of the cake, Gymshark says. Here you go, a little something, something extra. The sports bra, pretty much the same thing. As you can see, their sports bra in the high rise is a little bit different. So you have more strappy, obviously it's not as thick. So this is adjustable if you like that kind of like strappy sexiness, totes. This is a little more coverage in the front too. It's kind of almost wants to be high neck. So this will come a little bit higher than the other racer back that you saw in the mid rise. Also a smaller band, obviously. The other one had a nice thick band. This one has more of just like an inch and a half kind of band. Um, still very supportive uh, because the back does make up for it here. You do have a nice, it turns into kind of like just like a thickness in the back here. The thickness with the matching huge Gymshark logo written out to match the leggings. You do have removable bra inserts as well. And this is also more of a lower support sports bra, just like the mid-rise. And you do have that little baby logo right in the middle, barely there. And because the cold weather is surely making its way around here up in uh, Northern New Jersey, <laughs> had to get the long sleeve. I need them in my life for crying out loud. I love warming up in a long sleeve, forget about it. So the flex is really comfortable, dude. Like it is so, so, so comfortable. I love it. It's nice and insulated. It keeps me nice and warm. It does have the nice thumb holes to make me feel like a real badass. You do have like the keyhole look on the back here. Okay, almost like the racer back of the mid-rise. Yeah, almost got some of that. Um, and you do again have that matching Gymshark logo on the back. So overall, the back of this from far away, well, 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 what do you know? They got the Star Trek again. Woo! So you can see, obviously, there's a lot of similarities between the two because it is technically the same collection. Just a little bit of difference you got here, okay? Depending on what you need in your active wear. And in case you guys were wondering, I am actually wearing the Flex, that high rise that you just saw, sports bra in the mallow purple. I did a little mix and matching, all right? So I got a few things, you know, I didn't get everything the same. I kind of got a few pieces that can mix and match. I think this would actually go really well with the Mallow Purple Adapt. All right guys, so lastly for the Flex High Waisted, I got the cycling shorts in the navy blue marl and light gray with matching sports bra and long sleeves. So whereas the charcoal and pink had more of a contrast in logo, this is kind of has a blended logo. Do you see that? The gray literally is one with this navy blue. So you have a lot of cool tones in this batch. So literally the same thing as what you just saw, except the logo's a little bit different. It's a little more subtle, barely there. I mean, from far away, I don't even think you can see it from far away, but it's there and skimp out. I actually just bought one of their Gymshark uh, era tab beanies in navy blue, this one. I think you already know that I'm gonna make this look happen right here, right now. You kidding me? Yes. This is like winter vibes. I'm getting real winter. This is winter time. I see. I see tones. Whew, it's nice and cool. Ooh. All right, guys. And you already know that I would not leave out the ombre all day, day. So they released three different colors. We got the red marl Power Ranger vibes. Absolutely. They also have burgundy and light blue. So I kind of struggled picking which one I wanted. <laughs> so I went with the red. I don't have that much red from Gymshark. So I was like, you know what? Well, let me let me just get the freaking red. This is their Adapt, obviously. Their Adapt Ombre, so not the Flex. Huge fan of the Adapt collection, beyond belief. So when I saw that they came out with new Ombre colors, absolutely, I love, I have the other two that they came out with that they launched, that black and that gray pink transition. So this one is just the red that fades really subtly and naturally into a white marly breakup. So it's not crazy contrast here. And I like that. It doesn't like cheapen it in a way. It kind of just makes it look more natural. It is squat proof on me. And you do have that raised seam contour on the back of the boot hair. This legging is actually just more on the compressive side. So if you're looking for a higher compression, absolutely 100%. 
This is just so pretty. You have this real stark white crisp clean logo down the hip printed on. And of course I had to get the matching long sleeve, okay? They do not have matching sports bras with these ombres. I am waiting for matching sports bras. I need it. I'm craving it. But I will take the long sleeve. This, I will say actually, um, this material is super stretchy. It is super wicking. You can feel it in the fabric. It's also very soft. I will say that feeling the texture, this is significantly softer and luxurious feeling than the Flex. The Flex has that more, little bit more of a rugged feel, super comfortable, but just keeping you, you know, in the loop in case you're new to these collections, that if you want more of a compressive and just a softer vibe, yeah, this is it. You have the nice thick ribbed band, nice tummy control, nice gusset, no camel toe, nice and squat proof, just how I like it. So just a little bit of a heads up for you. Uh, they did make note on their sites about the ombre how it may differ slightly from one legging to another. For example, my legging right here might be slightly different from yours, even though it's the same exact color, uh, because of the process that they use in actually creating the ombre. So they are like dip dyed to actually create that ombre look. So it starts with like a normal marl legging and then they hang it upside down like this and they dip it to dye it to get more of that saturated look to create that more gradient look. So because of that, they do kind of make note that it might vary from one legging to another. I thought that was very interesting. I had no idea this is how they made ombre leggings. I'm not surprised because Gymshark's nothing but higher quality. So the way of them creating this, it's not how I would have imagined. I would have imagined just an overall, just a print. This ain't no print. Nope. And to me, just knowing that they might be slightly different kind of makes me feel good. <laughs> I feel like these were made for me. I'm just saying. And the long sleeve real quick, I want to touch base. Uh, you do have a nice rib band around the midsection here. These I actually sweat up a storm in. These are so insulated in my opinion that I sweat instantly in these, I warm up really well. So if I had to pick a long sleeve favorite, like if it's a cold day and I wanna warm up fast, I would pick the Adapt for sure. They will make you sweat. <laughs> they do not show sweat either. So even though I'm like walking and sweating my bum up when I'm, walk when I'm working out, it does not show any sweat. So for me anyways, so that's a plus. And they do have the ruched back here, kind of show a little bit of that sexy back for you. Um, just an added detail, just to kind of make it its own piece. Okay guys, so next, ooh, this is still part of their new releases. I had to try these out. Okay, I get a lot of questions about what undergarment I wear, like underneath my leggings. So um, a little fun fact, if you, cause this is almost the end of the video, so if you stay, this is a little fun fact for you. I um, normally don't really wear underwear. <laughs> You know, as I'm maturing, I'm starting to realize that, mm, Ash, maybe you should freaking wear underwear under your leggings for crying out loud. That's disgusting. So, whatever, I don't judge. Don't judge me. We're family here and I'll probably still not wear underwear. But, nevertheless, wanna try the Gymshark underwear. I get a lot of questions about Gymshark's seamless thongs and things like that. So, I got to try it out myself. And let me just tell you something. Hmm. I'm gonna get more of these. <laughs> I need these in my life. We have a low cut bralette and a high rise thong, okay? They come in like a low rise and a high rise. Why am I kind of whispering? <laughs> no one can hear me. It's just girl talk. I'm like talking about underwear and here I am like, <laughs> straight up, I've worn seamless underwear before. Won't mention the brands, but I will say that they always rolled on me and it got me so freaking mad, which is why I'm pretty sure why I stopped wearing it altogether. <laughs> I have not worn these to the gym or anything yet, but I have worn them and tried them on under the leggings when I got everything in. Right off the bat, what makes these seamless thongs a little bit different than other ones that you might see is that it has like a seamless band, okay? So you have that extra support so that it won't roll on you. You also have the high cut, so it automatically kind of sits up on the hips a little bit better. And I mean, I even squatted in the leggings in these underwear and it didn't roll, like nothing rolled on me. So thank goodness. <laughs> I actually want some more colors to come out like whites and nudes and things like that. The bralette is so like thin, 
but so supportive at the same time, I guess, because I'm small here. It makes the girls look really good. Like, I'm, I was actually surprised, like, dang, for it to be so, like, thin, it does a lot for me. You do have adjustable straps, and it's so cute. You have the Gymshark logo still, right on the back there. Right on the back of the underwear, and on the back of the bralette. So my first impression right off the bat, like, wow, these are comfortable, they are very stretchy. I am gonna stock up on these, because these are the only ones that I'm gonna wanna wear. All right, guys, lastly, are you ready? <sighs> I'm looking at you, Boss Gray. I'm looking at you. When I saw these bomber jackets, I was like, are you? No, yes, I had to get it. I had to get them in both colors. Obviously, that's how badly I wanted them. When I saw I was like, no way, I need it. Huh. I feel so badass wearing these. So we got black and moss gray, okay? And this moss gray is more like, you know, like a tan, nude kind of color. Perfect for fall time. So is this, like winter, fall. These jackets are so awesome and stylish. Let me just say, you have a full zip. You have multiple pockets. So you have that like storage if you need it. This is the perfect jacket to just like throw over your set and go to the gym. It's lightweight, but yet it still is pretty warm for it being such a lightweight jacket. You do have cotton inside. All right, so there's warmth to it. There's some insulation to this. It's not just a paper thin jacket where you're gonna freeze your bum off. Um, this is really such a great jacket for that transition, especially if you right now aren't experiencing really cold weather, you know, just the cool crisp autumn. This is the jacket for sure. It is nicely lined inside. Ooh, a little bit of contrast, I see you. It is quilted up in this baby here. So it is very nice, it's soft. Everything's very soft about it. Super comfortable. It does have that little itty bitty crop. It's not like a long jacket, but it's not like crop crop where your stomach's showing. So it's a nice happy medium. It would look really bomb with leggings. I think they know what they're doing. So we were looking at 100% polyester on the outside here. And the secondary materials are 93% cotton and 7% spandex. So you still do have a little bit of that elasticity. And I really love the breast pocket up here because it zips. So if you have something extra special, that's where to put it. But other than that, you do have two side pockets, a really nice little collar. You have a really nice cuffed wrist on both sides and also rib on the bottom. So as far as logos go, you have it on the left sleeve. You have the big shark face that's printed on, nice and contrasted, nice white and clean. And then you have an itty bitty Gymshark logo right on the zipper. It's like so cute. It's the tiniest little logo I've ever seen, but it's there. So a little fun fact about bomber jackets, kind of where they got their name and where the style influence was from, is actually from the Air Force, in case you didn't know that. All right, bomber jets, basically what pilots used to wear. So I thought this was really cool. It gives that real like Air Force-y vibe. Hence why I said it looks badass. All right guys, so that was the full new release haul and try on. As you can see, Gymshark came out with some serious winners. As always, if you have any questions at all, if I didn't cover something that you're curious about, definitely comment down below and we will chit chat it up. And definitely stay tuned you guys because that Whitney, that Whitney line that's coming out, woo! Your girl, she will definitely be doing a full try-on review the whole shebang before the pieces launch. I'm so excited. Oh, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not already. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness because together we got this. IG is where I post a lot of stories, Gymshark content, things like that. So definitely hit me up on there. Thank you all so, so much for watching and we, we will catch you in the next video.